I want to know what is the theory, theoretical definitions about business restructure. Not that it's going to be as helpful as some of the, the practical insight we can get from Koyan, but um, I mean, just a simple overview. Uh, restructuring refers to when a business is uh, undertaking any kind of significant changes in either their financial structures or their operational structures. Um, in other words, shifting things around. Um, and that's usually done under significant pressure or duress, so just like now, during a global pandemic. This is uh, obviously a very stressful situation yeah. for most companies. They're all getting cash strapped and, and the business environment is changing extremely quickly. So any action you take to meet those, uh, to counter those stressors uh, and, to, and to rebalance your business is restructuring. Um, and that can be a lot of different things. Uh, and, and I know Kuyan is going to talk more in detail about the, uh, some of those. Um, but I'll focus on the financial aspect, uh, just because again, that's the boring theoretical stuff that you mentioned. Um, so financial restructuring usually includes like three or four different key things. Uh, either cost reduction, uh, which is important for any business, uh, reducing your expenditure, reducing your liabilities. Uh, debt restructuring, which uh, probably we haven't talked so much about in Myanmar, and it's maybe more important for large corporations, but that's where you um, either uh, change your debt uh, you get you refinance your loans or you change your loan terms or simply changing your uh, equity structure and finding or finding new investors um, a third common category is uh, M&A mergers and acquisitions um, and um, which is again something mostly larger corporations do when they either join their productive bases uh, or acquire smaller firms that can be a strategy for overcoming uh, a recession um, and then for, fourthly, um, divestment or spinning off se entirely separate divisions or companies uh, into new businesses. Uh, and that one I actually think is often overlooked in Myanmar. Uh, regardless of whether you're a big or a small firm, there is potentially a lot to be gained if you divest from uh, some, of your, uh, some of your assets or divest from some of your brands uh, because it can reduce complexity. And reducing complexity can enable you to focus more on your core competencies. And this is even something that SMEs can do. Um, there's, it's never wrong to ask yourself how to simplify and how to, fo uh, to uh, restructure your firm to focus on what they're better at doing. Uh, and this can even be for, for an individual product. A, a startup can cease selling a product, not necessarily uh, just, well, can cease to sell a product um, just because they want to focus on something else. So you're suggesting to for the same company, even though like they are generating their profitable revenue, uh, if uh, something is not working, uh, should they remove their products or department? Maybe. I mean, it, it depends. It always depends, right? I mean, that's the right consultant <laughs> yeah. answer. It depends. Um, so Telenor, for example, to give an example from the corporate world, Telenor recently divested from Wave Money. And Wave Money is one of the success stories in, in Myanmar's startup sector, generating quite a lot of good positive revenue flows. But they did that because globally Telenor Group is trying to restructure and focus more on their core, um, core, uh, core business activities. Um, and in a similar way, an SME might take a, a product or a division or a business uh, division and say, okay, we're having steady revenue flows, but they're not very high. Maybe we should spin. Maybe we should get rid of it, or maybe we should spin it off into a separate uh, business stream or a separate uh, company altogether. Um, and it really comes down to looking at your ROI. What's your return on investment? So if I put on my economist hat again for a second, every single uh, business uh, decision, every single activity you do, um, every single choice has an opportunity cost. There is always something you're foregoing when you're taking that decision. Um, so if, if, for example, let's say you have uh, a product that's generating five lakhs a month, for example, that's not bad. You know, it helps pay the bills. Uh, money is good, revenue is good, it's very important, especially during uh, a, glo like a global downturn. But if your company is tying up so many of its resources, especially human resources, into maintaining that revenue stream that you can't innovate, that you can't focus on other opportunities, uh, opportunities that maybe two, three years down the road could give you 20 lakhs a month, then you have an opportunity cost that's probably a bit too high. And what it really comes down to is planning. 
Um, and even if you're a small business, you can always do this. You can always do basic financial modeling to calculate your return on investment, to see what your likely revenue flows are in the future, and whether or not what you're doing right now is actually worth it. Uh, thank you for the answer. At the time, we have to educate our clients. 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 We have to educate our Programmer revenue or PMI or total equity share, total investor, a dish, a website, no something as a bit to up your jaw. I have been my good company, my poor man, a cool lepany program language, a chain, no blue and a table, Lura, Baru Pimaso, deep. We only are by to measure in a good company structure or PM or PM level look at the Lutu at JV or by. Sell up your going and in there on the deal of the little bit of my side doing a restructure load as well for Lutin MD. And as far as operation and but that people you are long and do don't share a little bit of the goal for the name of the deal. Okay, Jesus to one. So to not take a to me now or the academy back on home. <laughs> I understood that part. <laughs> no shame, no shame. Practical experience is way more important. So, so now the let's see the restructure of the team. So now, now that the current president of the company is not doing the job that he should be doing. The current president of the company is not doing the job that he should be doing. So now, the the buying board, you know. ประมาณเรื่องงานกู้เลยส่วนจำนวนเรื่องงานกู้ลงมาชงงงต้องเตะเตะไปหมดนะเรื่องงานกู้ลงมาชงงต้องเตะเตะไปมาก็ลงมา
ကျွန်တော်ကျွန်တော်ကျွန်တော်ကျွန်တော်ကျွန်တော်ကျွန်တော်ကျွန်တော်ကျွန်တော်ကျွန်တော်ကျွန်တော်ကျွန်တော်